Rosalita Longhi, who was often called Rose for short, was one of ten children. She was born with a condition that caused her throat to close up. Most children born with Stridor outgrow this condition, but Rose's case was more severe. Ten days after being born, she had to undergo surgery to correct the tissue blocking her airflow. Her grandmother, Verlaine Faye Longhi, a Wapato, Washington, flew in to help her daughter and granddaughter when she heard of the surgery. As Verlaine cared for baby Rose, a special bond began to grow, so much so she asked her daughter if she could take Rose back with her to raise. When Rose was two, her mother signed the papers allowing Verlaine to adopt her. And so, Rose's story began with a new start, growing up in Wapato with her grandmother, cousin, and soon after, a younger sister joined them. Wapato is in Yakima County, east of the Cascade Range. Yakima County is known for its apple, wine, and hops production. The Yakima Indian Reservation, the 15th largest reservation in the U.S., covers 36% of the county. 56.8% of the residents of Wapato are American Indian. Most of the residents work on the farms, making just enough money to provide for their families. Life was not always easy in Wapato. Growing up, Rose was the thoughtful child, the child who left sweet notes for her grandmother, the child who was always smiling and happy. When Rose became a teenager, things began to change. She got mixed up with the wrong crowd and made choices that were not in her best interest. She dropped out of high school but intended to get a GED. She aspired to become a nurse, but like many teenagers, Rose became involved with drugs and alcohol. From the age of 16, she was in and out of treatment centers. Verlaine tried everything to help Rose. It wasn't long she began to stay with her boyfriend. Verlaine didn't mind her coming and going. She wanted her home, but the number one rule Verlaine had was there were to be no drugs or drunken behavior in the home. Rose couldn't come to the house if she was under the influence. On June 30th, 2015, Rose came to Verlin's home, hi. Verlin explained to her she couldn't be around her sister or cousin if she was under the influence. She asked her to leave, but let her know she could come back once she was sober or no longer high. Around 10 p.m., Rose came back and knocked on the door. Verlaine sent her away. That was the last time she was seen. Verlaine misses Rose and at the age of 67 is still searching and not giving up hope. She writes to Rose every day in her journal. Over the years, she heard many stories of where Rose may be. There are reports of her being in a homeless camp, but after searching all the camps nearby, Rose was not found. There are also reports that Rose was murdered and her body discarded. About two years after Rose's disappearance, her boyfriend at the time that she disappeared was ready to talk. He knew something about what had happened to Rose. Unfortunately, he was murdered before he had a chance to speak up. Berlin needs our help finding her granddaughter. Rose was 18 when she disappeared. She would be 24 today. She is 5 foot 5 to 5 foot 8 and 140 pounds. She has dark hair, dark eyes. She has a scar on her chest and both wrists. Both her lips and her ears are pierced. Rose has a history of drug and alcohol abuse. She is an enrolled member of the Fort Peck, Assiniboine, and Sioux tribes in Montana. If you have any information on Rose's whereabouts, please call the Yakima Nation Tribal Police at 509-865-2933.